Hello everybody, my name is George Case and today I'll be showing you guys how to install uh, Drupal 8 Open Social running on a dev desktop. So first uh, we need to install uh, Aqua dev desktop. You can just go to Google and uh, just search Aqua dev desktop download. Drupal downloads. Uh, if you're using Mac, you can just uh, click on the Mac download. I'm on a I'm on a Windows machine, so I'll just click on Windows download. Then you can just save it in your desktop. click next uh, I can click next again and this will install uh, Apache MySQL PHP all these versions and uh, PHP my admin this is a good thing about uh, installing that desktop and click next uh, click next and these are uh, the ports for Apache HTTPS and MySQL ports. But you don't have to worry about them. Alright, so uh, while we are installing uh, Aqua Dev Desktop, we will need to install uh, Git. Git uh, is uh, is like a command prompt for Windows machines. If you are on a on a Mac machine, you don't have to worry about this because Macs already have it. So we will just need to download this only for the for Windows. Then we can select Windows. It will start downloading automatically. If it doesn't, you can just uh, you know select 64 version, you know, or 32, whatever you have. You can just save as desktop. Yes. Go next, and this will install in your uh, C drive program files. Get next, next. Uh, then, just just to make sure, you know you have selected the use git from Windows common prompt. Then we need to select uh, use Windows default console window. Click next, and then that will install. I will also post uh, these links in the description below for you guys. And as you can just click on the link, and it will take you to the to these websites to make it easy for you. Another thing we will need. Uh, Open Social is uh, to install the the composer. That's how we're gonna uh, download all the files, Open Social files, by running the the command. Drupal eight Open Social. requires PHP 5.5.9 or higher and then this is the composer we need so once we get the composer we will need this uh, command as well so you know we're just gonna copy and paste this command to the command prompt and then it will download download all the open social um, files alright so you can just click on the composer then uh, you can just click on the composer setup.exe then save it as a uh, desktop. Alright, so uh, git it's all set, uh, Arcure is all set as well.
So it's just running uh, Apache and MySQL already. And then later on I'll show you guys how to uh, you know add a website. But for now we can just close it. Now we can just run the composer. And this uh, this this path is really important. You wanna say to the correct one. So you can just go to uh, C drive to your C drive program files x86 dev desktop you know you can you can use you know either one of these PHP 5 5 or 5 6 you no know, I usually use 5 6 then you can just uh, click on uh, php.exe application open it then when I click next you know this will say uh, composer is already installed in the following directory so you know we have to remove it first and then we can just install it. This one I show you guys. You're gonna run uh, through this issue, so we can just go to the search and search for the composer, and then we can remove all the composer files, except except for the composer setup. There should be like uh, 40 items. we got 40 all right so we need to get rid of all of this delete uh, hold on. except for the composer setup all right we can go back and uh, do the composer setup again click next and just to double check you now we need to go to C drive program files 86 that desktop php5 underscore 6 php uh, the exe application then now we should be able to install it all right that's good to go Click next and finish all right so next what we have to do is we have to go back and um, run this command and we will run that command in a. You have to go through in, a, in, a, in, your, in your C drive. Hit Shift and right click, then uh, open command window here. So, what we have to do is uh, we can just copy and paste this command. Copy and paste it. And now you can just right click. You can just control, uh, control, do control V. I think I didn't copy it, maybe Good copy. Then do control V that should paste it. Then you can just uh, now this commands tell us it will create a dir dr uh, r folder uh, in here and then it will download all the open social uh, files that we need. Alright, you can just click enter and then you know this will take it usually take like five to ten minutes to download everything. So which you know I'll just uh, pause the video right now and restart it. You know well, all of this set up. All right, guys, uh, we are back, and it seems like everything is being downloaded right now. We can see the directory folder, and now it's the exciting part. We will be uh, setting up our website. So go ahead, you can open uh, Dev Desktop and uh, you can click on the plus sign right here, import local Drupal site, change uh, this PC, you can go to your uh, C drive, program files 86, oh no I'm sorry, uh, it's a directory folder, then select the HTML. And you can do select folder uh, for PHP we can set this to 5.6 then click OK so now we can uh, go to our local site
and we can just you know set it up and this might take a couple minutes you know to install everything uh -oh, site name I'll just you know say test open social I'll just use my email address so folder.edu username admin for username you can uh, you can use your username like your first name let's say USA it's gonna be America New York Save and continue. So now we are now in the process of installing open social modules. And they shouldn't take too long. And if you go to your settings you now you can see uh you know my SQL port, you know, SSH, Apache. You can even view view your logs in here if you if you want. You can just click on view, you know, Apache access and then it will open everything in Notepad. You know, you should be able to view the logs, the time as well. shows the bureau on on version uh, PHP 5.6 Right now, uh, open social modules are, are being installed. It's going to play 65 or 70, and then it's going to apply the configuration, apply theme, and our site should be all set up. And here we go, our, our site is all set up. Here you can manage it, you know, you have the structure, activity settings. You can uh, install a new theme if you want. You just go to appearances, install a new theme, extend. 
configuration you have people you know count settings system basic site settings groups people and you know I have the permissions right here well this is the end of the video guys I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching